film this entire intro and outro and it wasn't even recording. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Christina and today I'm going to be doing a DIY for you and today's going to be a DIY afternoon tea tray, like that holder stand thingy, yes, that thing. And then on top of that I will be doing a OOTD for like a garden party or like an afternoon tea, which is essentially what I had made the thing for. If you're not into tea, then I, you can just use it as like a super cute display when you have friends over, especially when you're having like, like a coffee or like a special event. I think it's a really cute way to style up all your menu items. I hope you guys enjoy the video and I will see you guys right after. Bye! Okay. So the first thing is you gotta get all your essentials. So what you're gonna need is two big plates, a smaller plate, and two stands for the middle. Now, what I just started doing is I'm just gluing the bottom plate and the bottom stand together. So I'm just gluing the bottom of the stand to the bottom plate, and that's going to create your first layer. <laughs> Next, I'm just holding that in place, putting pressure because, well, you know, it's not going to stay if it's not, you know, actually glued to the blade. Next, I'm just gluing the rim of the stand and you can use candle holders or you can go for something more fancy like I did. I'm not even sure what this is called. I just found it at the dollar store, saw two of them, thought it was perfect. So I am just going ahead with my glue and I am just lining it. And then I will be evenly placing. Make sure you're very careful doing this. You want to make sure you glue it directly in the center of the plate. So just want to check it from all sides and make sure it's completely glued down. And then you're going to go ahead and apply pressure. Next up is we're just going to go ahead and once again repeat the same steps we did for the previous layer. I'm just gluing the bottom to the bottom plate. And then you're just going to go ahead and place it very carefully, directly centered. Now this is kind of a little bit more difficult and tricky because the bottom layer has already been glued down. So now you have to match it with the bottom layer. And then we're just going to repeat the same thing we did before and just glue the rim and the top plate on top of the little one. This one's much easier to be honest because it's just a small plate and it's going to be naturally smaller than the bigger plates. Now you can see I totally made it uneven but I fixed it later, so. And that's your final product. That's what it looks like in the end. I think it's really, really cute. It's like this really cute traditional way of just displaying your snacks for afternoon tea or even if you have just a family event or something going on. Like, I think it's really, really cool. I see these all the time and I never actually can find one in Canada. And well, I just made my own. So the next thing we're gonna go into is the garden party outfit. I love this dress. I think it's so adorable and cute. The dress is from Marshalls and the necklace is actually something I got when I was younger. So I don't really know where it's from, sorry. <laughs> shoes are actually just from Walmart I don't know but they're really comfortable and they're really cute so just go with it and there you have it that's your completed look and your completed DIY 
guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps. And don't forget to hit that little subscribe button down below if you want to see more videos like this. Because it's free. And who doesn't love free? Like, I love free. If you want to follow me on social media, I will have all the links down below. We can chat about YouTube, school, anything like that. I'm down for it. Let's do it. I'm hoping to start my back to school series very, very soon. I've actually started collecting some DIYs and things like that for back to school, including some stuff for a haul. So those will be starting very, very soon. However, I'm starting them slightly late because I don't actually go back to school till September. So I'm sorry to those of you who do go back to school in like mid July. You guys were going back to school literally when I just got off school. I think that's it for everything I have to talk about. I will see you guys next Tuesday as always. Bye!